Well, good morning, Matthew. Good I think morning, I can Keith. get away with that this morning. Can I yeah. do that today? Yes, yeah. yes you can. <laughs> we, did, we did do something yesterday, but okay. So we're going to keep going on this theme a little bit of challenging situations that we encounter. So this one is, what if we have somebody who's in seek mode? So they're seeking. So right away, when I say someone is seeking something, Everybody's brain should go, ooh, primitive brain is on. Primitive brain is turned on and their amygdala is not getting what it likes, wants, or needs. It's worried and it feels threatened because when we go into seek mode, it means we're uncomfortable or in pain. We cannot see what we want to see. We can't touch what we want to touch. We can't experience what we can't hear, what we want to hear. We are in a sense, um, in a state of deprivation now. And so we feel threatened by that now. Um, so the question then becomes, what are we seeking? And it tends to fall into a variety of categories, places, people, or props, stuff, or program activities. What, what should I be doing? So, and then we'll leave that last one over here on the sign. And I'm going to call it a little one, but it's actually purpose. It's not a little one. I need purpose. All of these, actually, this little finger is really what's underneath all of these. There's, I'm, I'm looking for something that gives me a sense of purpose. So, it's either, what were the things? Places, that should be people, not in places with it today. People, props or objects in the environment, things, stuff, yep. Something that I think is going to help me achieve programming. Something that I need to do. So it's something to do. I, I need something to do whether it's look at something, whether it's uh, physically do something, whether it's supervise something, whether it's say something. I mean, there's something about a purpose. And then the last one is purpose. I'm seeking purpose. Okay. So that's a handful to hold on to. That's all your piece. So I'm in a seek mode, which means my primitive brain is turned on. And if my primitive brain is turned on, there's some kind of wiring here between the hippocampus and the amygdala that's going... I, I, I defined. Hey, hey. Yeah. Hey, look, uh, yeah. Hey, Matthew. I, hey, so I need to, my I need to go get my my kids. Um, oh, you're needing to get the kids. Oh, yeah. Wow. I I need to no. get out of here to get my kids because they got to get picked up. Oh, they yeah. can get picked up from school or somewhere else. Well, it does it comes from school. Yeah, they're from they're school. Yeah. Oh, now all of them or just one of them. Well, yeah, I got to get them both. Yeah, because they're, get they get both. Out the, yeah, they're both. I got to oh. go get them. So are you, are you on time or you're running late, Matthew? Well, I think I'm, I think I'm late. I don't know, but I need to get, you're I need late, to get but you're not, yeah. oh, okay. I don't know, but I think I'm now, late. Should we get up? You know what? Should we get up with your wife and double check sort of, is she picking them up? Or are you picking them up or what activity is it that they're doing? Should we check with her first before we take off? Oh, um, she yeah, usually does I don't that know. stuff, right? She's pretty yeah. good at keeping up with that. Yeah, she, yeah, she does. She does. I that. don't know. I don't know which one should come first or what, what exactly we should be doing, but tell you what, let's get up with your wife. Let's see if we can't connect with her. Cause she'll know the details of who gets picked up first. Yeah, yeah. I don't want us to take off and then be at the wrong place for somebody. Yeah, no, she, yeah, but she, yeah, that, yeah, let's, we should talk to her and get, we should talk to her that, first. Yeah. Now, now you've got two kids though, because we've got to check on both of them. Now, one of them, now, one of them is, let's see, what are they going to probably be doing? Well, I'm well, some, so Maddie, my daughter, hey, she's Maddie, yep, she does the, the play stuff after oh, and so so she, she she's doing rehearsals yeah yeah she's she's got that um okay you know, 
but my son, he does, he, he doesn't. Um, so he, he actually, he might only be the one that needs the, uh, to, to be got. So he might be the one that, but we should double check and make sure with your wife that that is the case and that he doesn't have a ride with somebody or yeah. he's not staying for something because Maddie's going to be a while yet because she has rehearsals. Yeah, because she, okay. yeah. Yeah, okay. my wife will get him and then usually and then I'll oh. I'll, I'll go and get her. Oh, um, so okay, so it sounds like your wife usually gets your son. Yeah. So we might be going a little bit early if if she's going to get him and we just have to get Maddie then. Yeah, yeah we, we might. We should check with her maybe. We we probably should check, yeah, now, to make we, sure. Yeah, yeah. So let me ask you something. Yeah. Does, does he like a snack or anything when you pick him up or you know is that something we should check on as well does does he eat or what's he what's he what's the story when you pick well him up? he does he does like to stop and get a drink sometimes after he oh. we, yeah he says he wants to go um where do you guys stop someplace like good well, or not so good it's the one with the arches oh the golden arches yeah, the golden. Yeah, and it, and it makes a. Uh, is makes that, an M. M. Mc, M. Is it McDonald's or it's something else? It's the yeah. He does so the. And I'm betting he doesn't get coffee, does he? No, he gets the, the the frappe. Is it the? Oh, frappe, the he puts sugar in. He does. Yeah, he's well. You know, he we fancy dancy for that, he, huh? He does. Not get you. All. You're a good solid black coffee guy. Yeah, no, I don't like all that stuff in there. Okay, so again, I'm going to pause this. So Matthew was seeking a way out of here. But he was also, so his place was, he thought he needed to be some other place. And he thought he needed to go there for people. And what then came to be is he also was having difficulty. He didn't have the right prop which was the car keys. So he was looking for stuff in order to go somewhere to get people. So can you see how the puzzle's starting to come together here? And then it was actually programming, a long-term programming that was time sensitive, always time sensitive. Got to pick the kids up, got to pick the kids up. And Matthew did that well into <clears throat> their high school years. I mean, this was not because when you have limited cars, you can't just pass the kids the cars and then you're home alone without a vehicle. So, you know, that whole phenomena. And then finally, Matthew might also be needing a little purpose here because about that time of day when people are coming and going and leaving and getting to their leaving work to go do something and they got to pick their kids up and what might somebody have said that Matthew overheard very often <laughs> um, yeah yeah so i hope so and so gets here soon because i need to get going i got to go pick up my kids if i don't get them they're going to charge me an extra 20 bucks for them to yeah, stay you know, in after school five stuff. minutes yeah exactly yeah. so without meaning to we forget that the people that we're with might hear or notice something about us and we're getting busy and we're thinking of elopement oh <laughs> we just call it leaving work <laughs> It's actually either escape or elopement or uh, most of us are not wandering off. Most of us have a plan in mind. And so did Matthew. So when we think about this, we're thinking about people getting angry and seeking out people. What does it mean if I'm looking for somebody and I want to beat them up? I'm so, what does that mean, Matthew? If I'm looking for somebody to hurt them, not to connect to them, but to to beat them up what does it mean that i think about that person or i feel about that person my amygdala is now remember this is all amygdala different why am i seeking them out yeah so so going back to one of the roles of the amygdala the threat perceiver if i'm noticing that this person here in this moment is and i see you pointing to the the purpose yeah. finger so something to do with with purpose in that moment, but I notice this person might be stopping me from doing that purpose potentially, or this might be a moment where I, I might be feeling like I need to do something right away. And the only way I'm going to get attention 
to, to get my purpose met is by doing this thing. And I get attention by doing this particular thing in that moment, potentially. So, so that's yeah. the only way I can get somebody. And this kind of goes back to the idea, Tipa, of with, with kids sometimes when you notice that talking just, oh, here, I, I need you to do this for me and I need you to do that. Them paying attention to that more than if you raise your voice and then the sudden they now are paying attention to you, getting, making that connection of noticing how those pieces are, are meeting whatever my need is in that moment. That might be part of where I'm seeking this. Like, so if, Yeah. So if you're already seeking a place and let's say the place is somebody's room and I know what happens when you enter that room because you and that person do not get along. And so I'm a little further away from you. And I go, oh, Matthew, Matthew, do not go in there. Matthew. Hey, no, you shut the here. hell up. Don't, you uh, get, uh, Matthew, don't no, you dare. Look, go I can go stop. wherever the hell Matthew, I want to. You stop. shut the hell up. No. Okay, now. Oh, so what I did is I did get Matthew's primitive brain to stop paying attention. That is... <laughs> That, unfortunately, I don't think we'd call that distraction. You got them engaged, but not the way you meant to, because what you said is you can't have what you want because I'm the boss of you. And what we did is we spun them around and we were even more threatening. Didn't mean to be, but my voice was threatening. My body was threatening. And see, this is what happens when you try to keep him out of that room. He turns on you and then he'll grab you and he tries to hurt you. And what I did, unfortunately, was aggravate the whole situation. So to try it a different way, Matthew's starting toward that room because there's stuff in there that gets something going. He doesn't remember exactly what all it is, but he's in full out seat mode, the place and the person. Oh, Matthew! Oh my gosh, I am so glad I saw you. Oh, wow. What, 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 what? I need I, your help. I know. I need your help for just a minute. Could you come, come with me? I really need some help here. I'm counting on you. Uh, well, I mean, I, I, as long as it's quick, come on. Let's. I know, I know. Come on, come on, come on. This door will not open and I need it to get it open. I've got the key. See if you can push it. Now, what did I take him to? Took me to another door, another took place. To another door. Something. And what are we, and I'm going to say, this is where the courtyard comes in handy. <laughs> I can't get this stupid door open. Wait a minute. Oh, maybe, oh God, it's locked here. See if you push it, can you get it? Because what I also still need to do, just as I needed to do the other day, was to burn off some of that fuel. He's got extra fuel. He needs to go something somewhere, do something. But what I'm doing is using all that energy in a healthier way and letting him expand and go to a different place with a person, with props. Now, I had the key that would actually open that door. And I may actually, see, I have to get out here because later on today, I'm supposed to have something going on out here. Look at this place. This place looks like crap. Let me see if I can get a, do you, for just a minute, could you help me with a broom just to get this crap? We've got all these leaves here. I don't even know. Has anybody been out here lately? Oh, Nobody's doing their yeah, freaking job. They, they, they're stupid or something here. Yeah. I mean, you got to huh. just do it yourself, I guess. I guess. I mean, that's what it seems like, doesn't it? That's well, what yeah, it feels I mean, like. They, <sighs> Man, we're in this together. That's for sure. You know what? what? You do some pushing of the broom and I'll get you a cup of coffee. How about that? Oh, okay. Well, don't Black put anything no in it. Don't, don't. Black, yeah. no sugar. Yeah, nothing in it. Yeah. You got it. You got yeah. it. You know what? I'm going to grab something for me too. All right. Hey, oh, hey, Matthew. Yeah. Well, yeah. Anything to eat? Anything to eat or just something to drink? Or well, just the coffee, really. If just I'm the coffee coffee right now. Yeah. We'll get I hear it. you. I can get it. I mean, I'll afterwards maybe, but You'll not get it I'm later. Doing. Yeah. You just yeah. got it. Okay. So yeah. what I did is I took him to an alternate space and now I'm using a different, now it may not be coffee. It may not be, he may need to burn a lot of fuel. We need to tear plants up out of the ground. You know, we need to look at what's out there that Matthew might be willing to do. And it might be that he still needs another person and it's not me. I don't know. But what I can tell you is when we start seeing the person as the problem and their behavior is the problem, that's 
when we're running into trouble. So really being open to the idea of seeking. Seeking is always a signal of emotional distress. It's always a signal your amygdala has really lit up with distress. So we've got to acknowledge the level of distress may be a whole lot higher than we think it is. And if we're going to call on the reticular activating system, the attention getter, we want to make sure we're doing it in a productive, positive way, not in a demeaning or um, uh, concerning way because we've got to, we've got to get out of that mode because all we do is transition them from being seeking someone else to seeking us, but not in a friendly, positive way. So we've got to really be in control of us, of environment and of what we think we're going to do with our time. Because again, I say, whether we're cleaning up a mess or whether we're helping Matthew do something that burns off that fuel, we've got to have a team to support us. And if that means I've got to take Matthew, we've got to get out of here, he and I are getting out of here, somebody needs to hold the fort. So if I'm the only one on the block, we're all in trouble. I hope not, but the possibility exists because I'm counting on the greater risk of it being Matthew having a meltdown and me having two people that are now in crisis because not only him, but the person he's approaching, that escalates and I can about guarantee the whole unit will escalate at that point or shut down at that point. But I've got to call for backup. And when this becomes a pattern, oh, that's the last P. When we have a pattern, we've got to pause, time out, and recognize we got a pattern here and we need to do something to change the pattern or all we'll do is pete repeat pete repeat pete. and if we want we're the ones that have got to try something different so all right matthew that's what i got for today so till next time everybody take care with care and if you have questions you have thoughts you have something you could use some more help with get up with us we have 30 minute free consults we have people who know how to be supportive and how to help you get somewhere different but the only way to start is with a question thanks y'all thanks tipa bye everybody hi i'm tipa snow and you just found our youtube channel and watched one of our videos I'm the owner and founder of Positive Approach to Care. Thanks for watching. And if you liked, if you have a comment about, or you would, please share it with people you know. Oh, and if you haven't yet done it, consider subscribing. We'll let you know when the next new video comes out. And you might want to visit our website, www.tipasnow.com, where you'll find other resources as well. See you there.